going to be on a G harmonica again. I'm going to play in the, that open chordal style that the folk guys did. And, and then I'm going to switch somewhere in there to the same first position thing on the same G harp. And I'll switch a little to the C harmonica and play in cross and play more of the way I would play it if I was called for the... So by using the pentatonic scale and the major scale over uh, folky music like that, you can play all those single notes. Or you can open it up in, in that first position on, on the G harmonic, you know, after you get a G harmonica. Because that's the way the instrument was designed in the first place. And uh, good, have a good time. <laughs> yeah, let's let's break down that thing we just played, and uh, let's just do it again. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bring back some of the ideas that I had, and some of the less complicated ones, and 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 focus more on where I was going in terms of mood and uh, the kind of groove and and the vibe I was trying to create with what I was playing, which is achieved more through. Dynamics, number one, dynamics, so important. Dynamics means loud, soft, uh, articulation, the way that I, whether I hit something with a k t or a t, you know, or a held note versus some shorter notes that are more rhythmic, and those kind of things, which are all things that are within anybody's grasp. Those things are the missing elements to music. People spend a lot of time learning how to play notes and uh, cool riffs, and I'll I'll show you cool cool riffs for days, and and I think there's a lot of value to it. But where you really turn people's heads with playing and start bringing a lot of musicality into it on any instrument, and I find this with people that I play. With.